Hollow Chain was very, I think it was love at first sight um, because it was very clear that there was a shift away from global context consensus towards contextual validation. Um, and so I think that shift moves us from the monetarily critical to the contextually relevant, which basically means, you know, we're not optimizing technology so we can transfer $900 million anonymously across the world uh, for 50 cents. Like that's, I think that's what Bitcoin is for. Um, but we're starting to say, hey, we're a network of people and we think the number of likes that David has added on my blog article is relevant in some way. It's not relevant for likes. It's not relevant in the way that everybody on the network needs to know about it, but it's relevant in the way that maybe this group of 25 people think it's important. And that Sid should be able to port that information as he hops from network to network. Like maybe it's relevant in another group of people. And maybe the relevance has no monetary footprint. You know, who knows if likes or, you know, other aspects like timestamps have any monetary relevance. And so Holochain actually liberates us from that monetary pressure, in my opinion. Um, and so all of reputation done until now always lived in that shadow of the monetary infrastructure, right? So if you went up to a blockchain bro and said reputation, they immediately go to peer to peer lending. Um, and, or if you go to, you know, if you talk about within the existing context, it's about, you know, the legal system or, you know, banks reputation on, you know, AML and KYC. But I think Holochain breaks past that. And so all of a sudden we have this valuable, rich, multidimensional information and we can choose what we want to do with it. Um, and so I think that's exciting. <laughs>